Hey, I'm back with another Freestyle Libre video series. In this one, I will be testing alternative sites for Libre sensor placement. This week, I have the sensor in my thigh and I will share with you the results and my observations in case you want to try out this location. Let's go! My name is Tom. I've been type 1 diabetic for over 32 years and on this channel I share my diabetes journey with you. And we talk a lot about Freestyle Libre. This is Type 1 Talks. So I've been in quarantine for over 6 weeks now, having more time to focus on my diabetes and try out new things. And I started putting Libre sensors in various other location than my back arm. I already tried my chest and my thigh. And if you want me to try other locations that maybe you like or you want to try in the future, uh, please write in the comments below and I will be happy to try them out. I will try to try out as many as possible and I will share the results with you on this channel. For each site, I will focus on four key categories that we will look at. And that is placement, accuracy, durability, and comfort because I think all these four are extremely important for us type 1 diabetics. So let's start with the thigh. First category I want to talk about is placement. So right now I have the sensor in my outer upper thigh approximately 3-4 inches or 10 centimeters from the place where my leg connects to my torso. It is approximately in the same spot where my pocket of my pants is and so I can comfortably scan with the phone in my pocket. Isn't that smart? I've also seen other diabetics putting the center a bit lower on both outer and front side of their leg. I've also seen some of them putting the center more on the inner side where it's even more hidden if you want to avoid questions from strangers. Another option that I heard about but I actually haven't tried is uh, putting the sensor on the back side of your thigh, right under your butt. One thing to note here, please do not put the sensor directly in a muscle, this could be very painful. Also avoid spots where you typically apply insulin because when you put the sensor too close to your uh, spot where you apply insulin this could have a negative impact on the accuracy of readings. It is actually super easy to apply the sensor in your thigh. The leg is easily reachable and I find the placement much less complicated than putting the sensor in your back arm. The removal is also very easy and if you would like to hear some tips for the removal, check the video here. Category 2 is extremely important because it is accuracy, aka how much we can really rely on the readings. There has been a study done on 23 patients which inserted their sensor in their back arm, upper thigh and their abdominal and the thigh actually did very well in this study. The accuracy of CGMs is measured by absolute relative difference and the lower this number is, the more accurate the location or the CGM is. You can see that in this study the upper thigh reached the same results as upper arm and these results were a bit better than the abdomen where you can see the number is much higher. Anything below 15% is generally acceptable for CGMs. And so these are really great results for the thigh from the accuracy perspective. Another advantage that falls within the accuracy category is that there are rarely any compression lows at night because you are less likely to sleep on your sensor especially if you place the sensor on the front or on the inner side of the thigh. Category 3 is durability aka how long does the sensor last and I'm happy to report that I haven't knocked off my sensor from my thigh yet. 
My personal view is that the leg is kind of more secure because it doesn't come into contact with door frames, backpack and so on. Two things I want to warn you about is be careful to not knock off the sensor by a table and don't pull out your sensor when you're taking off or putting on your pants. These are the two situations where, where I felt there was a little bit of a risk of getting the sensor pulled out by mistake. I can also imagine that the thigh is not ideal when you wear skinny jeans. Anyway, you can always cover the sensor with additional patch. I will link my few favorite patches in the description below. And if you want, you can also check out my video that I made about how to make your sensor stick for the full two weeks. Category number four is comfort and again I'm happy to report that the sensor didn't bother me at all in my thigh. I actually liked it a little bit better than my arm. Also I found it easy to scan and very comfortable to scan especially with the phone in my pocket. I don't even take out the phone, I don't need to do any kind of self-hugging that I used to do with the arm and so it's more natural and it's more discreet. It is also a bit easier to hide your sensor when it is on the thigh, especially on the inner side. And speaking of comfort, my skin on my thigh is not as sensitive as my skin on my back arm. So I find it actually better placement from the skin perspective. I didn't have any skin irritation, any allergy, nothing like that. Please keep in mind that the only recommended location for a Libre by Abbott is the back arm. So if you place the sensor anywhere else, it is at your own risk. Abbott will not cover any replacement costs of 40 sensors if you tell them that you applied them into alternative locations like the thigh. Also, I'm not a medical professional and anything I share here is just my personal view and my personal experience. So please keep that in mind and be responsible, okay? Question of the day for you. Have you ever used the thigh for the Libre sensor placement and how did you like it? What was your experience? Write in the comments below and share your experience with the community. Personally, I must say I'm very happy with the thigh placement. It's a very comfortable alternative to the upper arm and I actually prefer it. But you have to decide for yourself based on your preferences and your lifestyle. In my next video, I will be talking about the sensor placement in the chest. Subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so you don't miss it. If you want to learn more tips and tricks for Freestyle Libre, watch the video here. I thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next Freestyle Libre video. Ciao!